Thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you, Senator. Senator Sessions. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, I appreciate your, both of you, Senator's interest and in, uh, study of this over the years. I do have a different view. I think the good news is that in our nuclear power industry, unlike our coal, natural gas, oil, and other industry, we've not had a single uh, individual be killed in the entire process of that industry, nor have we had a person, to my knowledge, made sick as a result of uh, uh, a nuclear accident. So I say that to date we've had a pretty good record. Um, I'll ask some different commissioners here, maybe uh, Commissioner uh, Ossendorf. Uh, the Sanders Boxer Markey introduced a plant, nuclear plant decommissioning act which grants a large role to states and communities in the development of and decommissioning of nuclear plants. Based, uh, based on your experience, would you share with us any thoughts you have as to whether that would make it more likely that a new nuclear plant would be uh, built in America or less likely? Senator, I think, uh, thank you for the question. I believe that the predictability and stability of a regulatory process is very important. Uh, we are an independent regulatory agency. We base our decision making on solid principles of science, engineering, and risk management. We think that the nation benefits from that from a public health and safety perspective. I could foresee some potential problems in that predictability being lessened if there were confusion or blurring of lines as to the role between the federal agency, us, in states. Well, I just think that's transparent. So now we're going to have a nearby city extort the power company for whatever ideas they may have uh, that may not be in the public interest uh, and, all, and result in v much less likelihood, in my view, that we could have new, safe, clean nuclear power plants built. I really think, uh, uh, colleagues, that creating a situation in which states, cities, and counties can now impose other regulations on the building of a nuclear power plant or the decommissioning of it in retrospect uh, is bad policy. And I strongly oppose that. I just don't think that's good. S Senator, could I, could I yes. add, add something to that? I, I think w I came to this agency at, after having been an official at the Department of Energy and then following many years in the military, I would tell you that the transparency and openness of the NRC, whereby we engage the entire American public. Uh, last year we had a thousand public meetings. So state, local, community, anti-nuclear groups, there's a significant process by which they are able to bring their voices to bear, share their concerns, and I think that is not often enough reflected upon when these kinds of issues come up. Well, thank you. Now, with regard to this uh, pool storage, just because, um, Mr. Uh, Ostendorf, just because uh, the rods are kept in a pool storage doesn't mean it's going to blow up or cause a fire, does it? That, that is correct. The, uh, if I can make two technical points there, uh, studies of the pools at Fukushima, as the chairman mentioned earlier in, her, in response to a question, to date, we're not aware of any damage to the pools of Fukushima Daiichi as far as structural integrity. Uh, the spent fuel pool study that we based our decision on uh, had some significant conservatisms. We could certainly provide those for the record, but significant conservatisms that uh, showed that we were taking almost worst case analyses and look at the integrity. And I'd also add that uh, the current initiatives being taken by the U.S. nuclear industry with respect to the, the FLEX program, mitigating strategies to add additional pumps, hoses, sources of water, uh, as well as the spent fuel pool level instrumentation requirements that we have levied, that those are other steps from a mitigation standpoint that have not been discussed today. Well, thank you. 